Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I have with me the fourth Frontier X2, a smart heart rate monitor which can provide continuous ECG monitoring, monitor any variations in your heart rate, is your heart being strained, everything in this tiny little device. So let's check it out in this video. This is the Frontier X2 by fourth Frontier. Measure what matters. So we can measure cardiac strain, record continuous ECG, and we are also provided vibration alerts for certain events such as strain if your breathing rate goes up too high. We have these pull tabs here to open the box. So let's do just that. Cool blue box with the Ford Frontier logo. The front is magnetically held down, push forward and the box opens. Exercise safely, monitor your heart and free your mind. Some paperwork like the quick start guide, regulatory info is also included. The box is so big, but if you notice the sensor within, it's quite small. We have a QR code for the app. Removing the top section, we have below two chest straps, one in blue and the second in black. Here's the charging cable which attaches magnetically to the sensor. Now back to the sensor. It's quite lightweight, only 25 grams, 55 if you include the strap. Pretty simple design with only a small screen on the top face, a blue button on the bottom which looks to be the only button on the device. The back has 4th Frontier marked on it, the leads from the sensor look like snap-on buttons and this is the charging port, it magnetically attaches to the charger. The main sensors are all within this device which is essentially the brains of the setup. Here's the strap, I am choosing the blue one, both are effectively the same except for color. Snap on the sensor to the strap and uh, we are ready to use it. The strap can expand as per the required width and the blue button when installed on the strap should be facing down. This allows the LEDs on top to be easily visible. Hold down the blue button to turn it on. If you have data from earlier, it will show last activity details on the screen including the memory remaining and the battery percentage. I have the 4th Frontier app installed on my phone. Create your account, enter your details and we are greeted by a dashboard which shows your activity levels, how much of your goal have you achieved, number of activities, active hours, training load, etc. Pairing the sensor is easy. Tap on the blue button under the sensor to activate it and once activated, it's detected by the app and tap to pair and it's ready to use. We can see the current sensor battery level at 83%. And oh, we have a firmware update. Let me finish that and get back. One of the highlight features of this device is the live ECG streaming. I have the sensor strapped across my chest and now I activate the feature on the phone and we can view a live ECG being streamed directly to the phone. This is so cool. This info would be really helpful for fitness enthusiasts to get the most out of their training without hurting themselves. Let's start a workout and the data that we have is like elapsed time, breathing rate, strain on your heart, heart rate, HRV or heart rate variability, training load, total calories burnt, body shock, step cadence, distance, pace, etc. And on top of this, ECG data is also being streamed across too. Once you stop the activity, the data is synced to the phone. Looking through the activity history, I have a few and now we can see all the data and we also have the ECG data which can be shared with your friends and even your doctor or coach. The ECG information does take a little time to be processed, so don't fear that your data was not synchronized. Battery life is expected to be around 24 hours of continuous use and 12 to 15 days of standby time if you use maybe an hour a day. It takes 45 minutes to fully charge the sensor and the charging cable is magnetic and it snaps on once you bring it close, it snaps and starts charging. I've been using this device to track my morning walks, my VR workouts and yoga sessions. The sensor being waterproof up to 1.5 meters can be used while swimming as everything is stored on the device itself. You don't have to worry that you could lose the data when being transferred to your phone. Just exit the pool and sync the data and you're done. The data can also be synchronized with your favorite apps such as Garmin, Google Fit, Strava, Zwift, Bolton and Apple Watch and more. I have Google Fit and the data syncs without a hitch. It's easy to start and stop workouts via the device. Just tap on the blue button to activate the device and tap again to start an activity. We do receive vibration feedback when we start stop activities and the LEDs on top also light up if it's tracking your heart rate, is your workout being monitored, etc. 
the sensor having a 24 hour run time you can also monitor your ecg while you sleep which can help monitor your sleep quality it can also help you figure out if you have any problems which are sleep induced the data is also available by a fourth frontiers web application which has the same data but it is more easier to read as compared to your phone on the website everything is much more easier to read and look through so that was the fourth frontier smart heart rate monitor it's easy to use and has a whole host of data that it can track so who is this device basically for maybe for professional athletes people with a case of heart problems and who want to track other medical issues the ecg graphs being easy to share with your doctor also helps to pinpoint what's wrong and when what's occurring if the user has a history of some sort of cardiac condition the device can be set to vibrate when it reaches a certain heart rate up or down which can be set via the app and of course the sensor is great for data junkies who like to track their everyday activity and make you compete with yourself or even your friends it does take a bit getting used to in the beginning but once you have it for some time it becomes second nature wearing a chest strap is a bit more troublesome as compared to like maybe a smart watch or a smart ring but the kind of metrics that the smart heart rate monitor can log is more accurate and also you have much more information so what do you guys think why would you use a device such as this one make sure to comment below also make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added thank you for watching and see you all next time